get home, you walk into your door. It's a little chilly outside, it's been cold all day. You walk into your warm house and you feel the heat. You put your keys down, you put your phone down and you sit down and you have nothing you have to do. Dinner's ready, email sent and you just sit there and you close your eyes and you take your clothes off. You like to dress nice, you look nice. Tie, belt, dress shoes, dress, heels. Kick the shoes off, lift your sore feet, feel the carpet and you just breathe. You have an above average IQ. You often find yourself feeling and judging that you're smarter than people. So you use sarcasm, which is anger. You use humor. This wasn't your country, you weren't born here. So there's a slight accent that you can do nothing about in your speech pattern. And oftentimes people make fun of the way you speak. Sometimes they do it behind their back and sometimes they do it to your face. You've practiced in the mirror, you've practiced listening to TV shows and podcasts on how you can correct your speech. And you have a thick Asian accent and it's okay. The way your home language sounds and the way it adapts to this new language created this accent and it's beautiful. The things that people say to you to bring you down, to make fun of you, it's at your expense, to humiliate you, is their problem. It's not your problem. When you speak to me, when I hear that thick Asian accent, I'm comforted by your voice. It sounds like sweet, angelic music to my ears. How do you look out of those chinky eyes? You take your thick prescription glasses off your face and look out into the horizon and you can see better than 2020 vision. You have Hawkeye vision. Every single friend of yours who's not Asian has asked you where they can get the best sushi, the best dim sum, the best Korean barbecue, the best pad thai, the best pho. You don't know. The best place is usually your mom's house. Because when mom cooks a steaming hot pile of pad thai, it's the best because it's made with love. Of course, she doesn't use the best ingredients and it's a little too sweet, but it doesn't matter. She cares about you. The special ingredient is love. She cooked those overcooked noodles with love. She spiced it a little too hard with love. I don't know where the best Korean barbecue is. There's a place, it's called Yelp. Look it up. For me, the best Korean barbecue is inside my heart. My heart is Korean barbecue. Who's gonna drive? Uh, not the Oriental. You know why? Asians can drive. But when you sit in the seat, you adjust the rear view mirror, all of that's in the past. Now we put our Ryan Gosling gloves on from Drive, and we are gonna drive. We are just gonna go deep into the soul, into the aura, because you can drive. Drive. With the flipping. Drive. Where? We can't drive. We got homework. We got tests. We got business deals. And give it to the Asian guy. Give it to the Asian girl. They, they're smart. They're good at math. Numbers. Algebra. Geometry. X over something. What is X? Why are you so good at it? Let's just cheat off Susie Wong's paper. Can you sit there and you feel, I was here just like everyone else. I've tried my best. I'm no better, I'm no worse, I'm just enough. And all eyes are on me. They want me to be subservient, to fold their laundry. They want me to cook them a bento box. They want me to score perfect on the SATs. They want me to turn in the perfect, efficient assignments. So much pressure, a failure to my family, to my heritage, to my people if I don't do a good job. It's that knife in my dad's office. Not the big ninja samurai sword, the little one. That's for seppuki. You fucking kill yourself if you don't do a good job. Pressure, pressure, it's so much. And I can't even drive away because no one will give me the keys. Asians can't drive. We're just good for the big brain and being subservient and bowing, so much bowing. Bowing right there at the hip. Low, bow low, lower. No, I will not bow. I won't do your homework. I, yeah, I can see and I'm gonna drive far, far away from this hate this judging and I won't judge you. With these slanted eyes, I can see perfectly straight. You can't drive. Where's the best Chinese food? You're the best at math. You suck at basketball. You're great at doing laundry. You're really good at owning donut shops in Los Angeles. And you're really, really good at organizing and being bossy. Oh, there's someone coming to fight us. Can you block and use Taekwondo? Can you do Muay Thai kickboxing? Karate? 
Judo? Jiu-Jitsu? No, I choose not to fight. I know how to use um, E-Honda in Street Fighter. That's about it. I don't know any martial arts because I don't fight. And I don't need to fight because I have love in my heart. And I fight you with love. You're Asian. You're Oriental. You're Chinese, Japanese. Wow, we look at these. But you're none of those things. You are and you're not. You're a human being. You are the best. You are. What? Why come you're the best? You have nothing to prove. You have no family name or heritage that you need to make proud. You don't have to accomplish any deeds and come and then come to this country for, for a better life so that you can do better. Asian family secrets. So many secrets. There's no more secrets. We know Uncle Tommy cheated. We know Auntie Kim stole all the family savings. We know Auntie Susan uses a ton of MSG. We know everything. There's no reason to lie, to manipulate, to cheat anymore. There's no reason to hide. I live in the light. I live in the truth. Only the truth. And the truth will set me free. I won't hold your family secrets for you anymore. I won't hold your lies. I just live in the light. You do whatever you need to do. You do you. And I'll do me. What I am is pure because I'm driving and when I look in the rear view, it's all in the past. As I move forward, I'm gonna fall down, I'm gonna stumble, I'm gonna fall, but I'm gonna keep getting up because I will stand in the light, I will fail forward. Your racism, your discriminations towards me are nothing because they're not true. Well, all racism is based in some truth. It's not true. I'm a perfectly imperfect, unrepeatable miracle of the universe. You can't put me in that origami box because I made that origami box and I made that box in my mind. When you try to hurt me with words, when you hurt me with insults and fists and violence, it just deflects and bounces off me because you can't hurt what is honest and pure. And I just am and I am enough and I'm worthy and I don't need to do anything to deserve your respect. I'm a human being. I am. That's it. I just am. And when you're ready, you come back into your Asian body and open those slanted eyes. Hello. Shashi. Arigato. Kamsahamnida.